Hey guys, this is Alan with Game On Formal. I've had a lot of requests on how to put on vinyl wraps, so um, no one really taught us how to do it. We just kind of learned over the years. So I'm going to show you my process and uh, what we do to make these things stick. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get to them. Um, otherwise, uh, we'll see what we can do to help you get wraps installed. And if you have a question on how to order your own custom set of wraps for your own boards, Give us a message and uh, we'll see what we can do to help you out. So here we go. First process, part of the process, uh, we're gonna sand down the top, make sure it's uh, as smooth as we can make it and then round the corners off and uh, that's the first step of prep. So we're gonna do that now. Just get it covered. So we're 
covering this up, so if there's any less than perfect, it's not a big deal. You know, for as far as you don't have any bare wood, everything on the surface is covered. I'll run them all up and down one smooth stroke here. Keep everything uniform, and when the wraps go on, you don't see any odd direction from the dirt and drying seeping through. And run over the edges just to make sure that there's nothing dripping on those. I'm gonna let that sit for. Oh, about 10 minutes or so, it dries super, super fast. This water-based stuff does not take long to dry, so uh, basically once you can touch it and not feel tack, it's pretty dry, so you're usually good to go. Um, if it's a cooler day, I uh, might give it 20, 30 minutes, otherwise just 10, 15 minutes and you should be ready to, for the next step, so we'll come back. Okay, the acrylic is dry and uh, touching it, it's not cool, no tackiness, good to go. So now we're gonna hit it with the same paper one more time. Again, knock the burrs off. Can't emphasize enough, smoother the better when you're putting this stuff on. So. shrinks when it's cold, so um, we put an extra layer. This is just, uh, you can use um, any kind of a spray contact cement. Um, this is still real low adhesive. It's not ultra sticky like that. I think it's like six bucks a can. Uh, but this is one of the things that we do to help with that. And just a quick spray on the edges. Tackiness is starting to harden already, so. All right. And now, I'm drop the wrap on there. Make sure you don't have any old dust or spots on the back of that smooth. Then drop this on. Then you're going to kind of center it around the edges. Just 
to make sure everything is even. So I just use the tips of my finger and kind of feel my way around it to make sure that it's good. And if you have overhang, that's fine. Um, we cut our wraps so that they are about a quarter inch all the way around. Overhang gives a little bit of breathing room when installing them. Some of the companies out there do use exactly 24 by 48. It can make it a little difficult if you've not done one before. So once you've got it centered, and you're pretty confident in that. We are going to grab some tape. Uh, we just use uh, frog tape, nothing fancy, it works. Just a couple, couple inch strips, put them on the sides, and then wrap it around, and this will keep that wrap in place to get it started. Once that's started, we get a squeegee and uh, Ultha knife. You can see the razor blade, but you peel the backing from the vinyl, peel it up, and when you're getting into actually peeling the vinyl, don't over stress yourself trying to be super careful, um, just take your time, be easy, don't go too fast. If it sticks to itself, it's really difficult to get it apart, so just take your time. Once that's up, cut the backing. And that was six to eight inches worth, not too much. And then grab the vinyl. And I'm pulling kind of tight, but not so hard that it's moving the tape up there, and just drop that down. Squeegee nice and easy. Just push it down. Easy, slow, don't push too hard. Uh, you can scratch the paint on the vinyl that you come to vinyl if you're pushing too hard. If you have air bubbles, slowly work them out. They should come out pretty easily. Um, just try to keep everything uniform when you're pushing things out. That way you don't end up trapping air bubbles or even creasing the raft because it, it can't happen when it gets creased. And uh, it creases out, but it's, it's a bit of a headache. So. Peel the tape off, and this is the step that you kind of just have to go for it. So, pull this up, we're going to roll this in, once you have that rolled in, kind of pull the backing up to get started, take the squeegee, soft side, and then you're going to pull the backing and push the squeegee at the same time. Just smooth, same speed. And all the way down. Set the paper off the side, it's not important anymore. And then start to slowly squeegee. some kind of marks going in it, like a paint stroke almost, that's fine. It will seal up when we put acrylic on top. Now if you've ordered vinyl that requires heat shrinking, uh, you'll get a heat gun or even a hair dryer. Ours does not require that, but if you get one that does, once this stage is done, you will get the, the heat gun, same squeegee, and you would take the heat gun, actually, so I can show you real quick. We're not gonna turn our 
dogs that don't need it, but you can pick the heat in, turn on low and high if you're comfortable with it. And then you would go up back and forth in this general motion. And you would see the heat uh, shrink the vinyl and it kind of sucks it to the board. Uh, we switched the type of vinyl we use. We no longer need to do this on all of our wraps, our earlier ones we did, so we've learned that too. So once this is stuck on there, my preferred tool Standard little straight razor blade here by hand, and I'm going to trim the edges um, just nice and smooth. Get it on the edges there, and a little bit of angle to it, and go down nice and easy. If you're not confident you can do that straight handed, um, you can large straight edge, 48 inch, and then drop it on there. Get your edges to where you've got maybe a 16th or so of an inch off the side of the board, and just run a razor down the line of this, and that gives you that clean edge on the bottom on the side of there. I do cut the corners kind of rounded to match the shape of the wood. This if you run into a rough spot in the wood where the blade catches and might make kind of a divot, not a big deal at all. So I'm so far, so good. Space in the shop. So I got a little rough hot patch in the wood, just go right over that. And the whole same thing, find a good starting spot, just puncture through, and just wrap this around the edge real smooth. If you just follow the angle of the round over in the wood with the edge of the blade, it'll fall a little smooth around so you don't have to stress that out too much. And then just run your hands over, make sure you have a ring or anything on that you're not scratching the vinyl, but just make sure all the seams are down all the way. They should be at this point, and then that adhesive we sprayed will really grab a hole in here. And this is it's on there, it is concrete, it's not coming off. Last step for this part of the process, we're going to throw another layer of acrylic on this. Real easy layer. Doesn't have to be super heavy. Work part to make sure that you're getting a little bit of overlap on the edges of the wrap where it meets the wood. Kind of help seal that down just in case. Here, just kind of go back and forth, get the strokes uniform, makes the board look a little better. And we typically just go a long ways like this. Uh, some designs, if the design of the wrap is more left to right rather than vertically, we'll do that instead. But uh, 
and this is just a single layer. So if uh, you like your boards a little on the faster side, once this set uh, this this dries, use that same 220 grit, quick coat of sandpaper on here. Not so hard or so long that it eats through this top layer of acrylic, but just enough to knock the burrs off again, and then put one more layer of acrylic on there, and then that really speeds the, the boards up. Uh, I, if you're unsure, I suggest play with them like this first, play around or two or five, and see if you like the speed, and if it's good, keep it. If it's not, throw another layer of acrylic on there, you're good to go. If you do play a lot, and you're a family that enjoys this outside all the time, uh, I recommend once a year to put a quick layer of acrylic on here. It makes it the life of the wraps last a lot longer. We do use UV rated ink and UV rated wraps, so uh, the manufacturer says three to five years if it's out in the sun. So if you take care of them, you, you keep these things uh, stored the correct way and keep a good seal on them. These wings will last your lifetime, so we don't build them to, to fall apart. So. Uh, if you have any questions about how this was done or anything, if you're running into a hiccup that I missed during this, uh, shoot us a message and we'll walk you through it. Um, the only other thing that I guess we'll talk about is if you do end up with the air pockets where you're squeegeeing it out and you just can't work them out with a squeegee, it seems like it's too hard, you can use your razor blade in just a corner and you would just, just touch the center of the air bubble just enough that it creates a tiny hole and then you can squeegee this you would squeegee the air out of that, that tiny hole and uh, as long as you do it nice and easy it'll suck it right back down and you'll, you'll never even know you poke the hole there to get that out so uh, otherwise i hope this helps you guys out and uh, if you have any suggestions for other other things we do on uh, how we assemble our boards let, let me know and we'll try to make a video for that so thanks guys for watching i appreciate it and uh, game on